Okay guys, so today we are going to be setting up the Possessed Pumpkin from Spirit Halloween for two reasons. Number one, because he's the Possessed Pumpkin from Spirit Halloween. You don't get much more awesome than this guy. He's seven feet tall. Actually, he's a little bit over seven feet tall, like seven feet and one inch. So he is absolutely enormous, which brings us to the second reason why I'm doing this today. He is the same size as the original Crouchy. Crouchy was seven feet, this guy's seven feet. Possessed Pumpkin is actually built on Crouchy's frame. So even though they look different on the outside, the inside is the exact same. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that recently a fan named Marcus sent me an original Crouchy animatronic that was missing the base and the legs. So one reason why I wanted to get this guy open and set up today is so that I can get to his instructions, I can measure out the base and the legs and see exactly what it is that I need to recreate to build that Crouchy. For right now though, let's keep the focus on the possessed pumpkin. Let's take a look at his box first. Look at this guy's glowing eyes. That is so cool. Okay, so as I said, he's from Spirit Halloween. He is the possessed pumpkin. Head and torso move side to side, speaks evil phrases, and has light up LED eyes, and stands seven foot one inch tall. He is absolutely enormous. Let's go ahead and step over here and see what the side of the box looks like. As you can see, this side has just one picture of the possessed pumpkin, and then it just kind of explains again what he does over here. The other side over here has two pictures of the possessed pumpkin, a big zoomed in picture of his head with the glowing LED eyes, and then up above that is a picture that kind of shows how he moves. He just simply moves back and forth while he's laughing at you. And then if we turn the box around you can see that the original price on him was $329.99 and you can get a 20% off coupon just about every single day from Spirit Halloween, which will take off about another 65 bucks. And then of course, you've got the story of the possessed pumpkin. And I will let you guys go to the website to read that. If he's not on the Spirit Halloween website, he will be on the Spirit Halloween fandom website. And I will put a link to that website below so you guys can go straight there without the hassle of trying to find it on Google. So, okay, let's go ahead and get this guy open. Man, this is an enormous box. I'm going to have to take him off the table here. So as I unbox him here, I'm going to set everything on the table so you can see exactly what it is we're working with. Okay, we got a couple of things of tape here. This is going to be awesome. I love Possessed Pumpkin. From the moment I saw him, I knew I wanted him. First we have <laughs> his outfit here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that is huge. Just looking at the outfit, you know he's going to be absolutely enormous. Slide that down. Then we have his hump back. All right, let's see. Everything is wrapped up in foam and plastic bags in here. Here's one of his hands. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are Crouchy's hands, only they're painted orange. I'll set them out and then I'll get everything unwrapped. Here's his other hand. Here we go. Here's a leg. Here's another leg. Those shouldn't be too hard to recreate to build my Crouchy. Oh my lord. Possessed Pumpkin's head is absolutely huge. Alright, let's get this out of here first. Or not. Look at the size of his head. Holy crap! <laughs> Alright, we'll take that out in a second. Man, that is a huge Possessed Pumpkin head right there. And then we have the other parts that are all connected together here. Hold on, we got a couple more things. Okay, that's everything in the box. Okay, so let's take a look at everything that we have right here. The rest of the stuff that was in the box, this must be the uh, power adapter. And then we got the instructions right here. That's funny. Usually the instructions are really big. This is only about half the size. Okay, so I can see everything I need right there. Okay, so first we have this back part here. All right, then we got the Possessed Pumpkin's enormous head. I guess I have to rip the bag to get it out. Man, that is huge. Yeah, look at the size of the Possessed Pumpkin's head. Holy crap. Looking at him in the store, you know he's huge, but you don't even realize that he's that big unless he's right here in your face. Man, that guy is huge. <laughs> All right, let's get the arms out of their plastic. Those are some huge hands, man. Look at this. Just 
compared to the size of my hands. Look how huge that is. All right, leave the foam on there. And we're gonna leave the foam on the legs too because I think it stays on there, except for these. So the base, the legs, torso, the back, power cord. We've got the hip hoop here. This stuff's all connected together, so I'll have to cut that. We got the head, the hands, and the clothes. Let me just take the clothes out to make sure we got everything we need there. Okay, pants, shirt, right? Okay, we're good to go. We got everything that we need to build our ginormous possessed pumpkin. Okay, so this looks like it's gonna be fairly easy to put this guy together. This is the base and it's pretty big, but it looks like it's actually gonna be a pretty simple base to build for, uh, for my Crouchy. So let's go ahead and get it set down here. All right, let's see, where is this? Okay, I got it backwards. So it goes like that. Okay, in fact, let's move it over a little bit here. And it's funny, but I just realized that Possessed Pumpkin has no feet. The hay just hangs down over where his feet would be. All right, we got legs. All right, wait a minute, I got them backwards. Okay, here we go. Okay, I guess the pants go on next. The shirt, these are the pants. Oh my gosh, look how huge those pants are. anything else let's drop this thing down there I got the hip boot okay. next we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle back shirt goes on next Something like that. Okay, so I think we've got everything done except for putting the head on. I keep having to move the camera around and move it back because he's so huge and he's almost gonna touch the ceiling up here. That's why I couldn't do this in the basement because he's so tall. All right, so once again, check out the size of that head. <laughs> Our wires here. This stuff actually looks pretty flimsy in here, these wires so it probably wouldn't hurt to reinforce them. Like at least wrap them up with uh, electrician's tape or something. Okay, so there's the head. And I'm trying to figure out how to get the wires plugged in all by myself. Because he's so tall. What in the world? <sighs> okay, so we got the wires hooked up in there. The head is on, the hands are on, the body's all together. Now all we gotta do is plug him in and turn him on. You little monsters have been carving up my friends for years. Now it's my turn to make a jack-o'-lantern from your head. <laughs> oh, you'll make excellent fertilizer for next year's crop. <laughs> Uh, all right. Tonight's the night for fright. <laughs> all 
I think that is the corniest one there because he like works himself up to laughing. Here's the sensor right here. You little monsters have been carving up my friends for years. Now it's my turn to make a jack-o'-lantern from your head. He is so huge. Oh, you'll make excellent fertilizer for next year's crop. <laughs> I love that one because at the beginning he's like, oh. <laughs> I need a skeleton or two from my haunted house. Yours looks just about right. <laughs> you yeah, look at how huge he is. Fertilizer for next year's crop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I turned him down so he's not just so loud while I'm trying to talk here. But there he is. He is absolutely enormous. I can't get over the size of just his head alone. So huge. And it's funny that I never even realized that he doesn't really have feet. He only has, like, his hay hanging down there as if it's hanging over his feet. Okay, there he is, but I did forget one thing, and that's the extra seaweed or whatever the heck this stuff is that goes around his neck. There we go. Yeah, definitely looks better with this extra stuff hanging on him. Anyways, there he is. Possessed pumpkin, seven feet tall. Absolutely awesome. Totally creepy and scary. All right, guys, make sure you stay tuned because very soon, using the specifications from the Possessed Pumpkin, we are going to be going shopping out to Lowe's or Home Depot and picking up things that we need to build our giant original Crouchy. Mm -hmm.